Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to basically be showing you how to take your Design Spark mechanical file, how to save it out as a DXF, and then um, how to be able to use that part. Because you will need to use a DXF file or a DWG file if you plan on sending your uh, file out to be water jetted, um, which is a machine that cuts. Uh, metal, aluminum with a uh, high pressure water and sand. So I'm going to show you how, what you need to do. So we'll go ahead and open up Design Spark. I have a uh, three dimensional part here that I created. It's two millimeters thick. It's 160 millimeters in diameter. It's a mountain bike disc rotor. So we're going to go ahead and you want to make sure you're in top view when you export your file out. You don't want the file to be rotated because if it's rotated like this you're going to get sets of triple lines that show up so go first go to top and then you want to come over here to file and you want to say save as and then you want to uh, click on your save as type and you want to go over to AutoCAD um, now this stuff you don't have to change unless uh, you know the vendor is asking you to change um, you have some options in here that they could tell you they want you to to save and they have um, versions um, I just leave it on the default unless um, I'm instructed to do otherwise so you want to go ahead and save that to the desktop just hit save and then um, we'll go ahead and minimize and now you have your DXF file here that you could send to the vendor for if you wanted to have it water jet there's a lot of different companies like obviously if you want to have your part, if your part's already three-dimensional and you want to have it created, uh, they have to CNC machine that, so you're going to need G-code. Uh, so, but this is, if you have something like this mountain bike disc, this is uh, fairly flat. Uh, there's no um, chamfers, there's no fillets. Um, it's just a two-dimensional flat part, and you can go ahead and uh, use your DXF file that would be fine and then I'm going to show you what that DXF file is going to look like uh, we'll open up CorelDRAW we'll go to file import and then we'll import this mountain bike disk and what I do when I import a DXF files into CorelDRAW is just go ahead and make sure <clears throat> that you want your top 3D projection on top you want the uh, auto reduce nodes on you want automatic Automatic, you don't have to specify whether it's in inches or whether it's metric. It does it for you. And then just make sure the scaling is on one to one. And then go ahead and click OK. And then when you get that little uh, bracket there, just go ahead and click. It will put the part in there. Um, this is what you what the person that's opening up their water jet software is going to look like. It's going to look like it's going to be this big. I'll go ahead and change this over to millimeters so you can see. So this is basically a 160 millimeter mountain bike disc. So um, this is this is good for a water jet. You just want to make sure that these pieces are separate like this. Uh, you want to make sure to group them. So just go ahead and select everything. Come up here to your view. I'm sure they won't have any problems if they're not grouped, but I go ahead and group the stuff. Group objects. So it's basically just one one piece. Um, and normally uh, I'll go ahead and uh, change that back to inches. Normally what I'll do is make sure that this is just a visible line. Hair, uh, hairline is small. I think it'll be okay, but if you if you're in doubt, you can go ahead and bump it up to one pixel. Uh, so this is going to be a file that you're going to be able to give your uh, water jet guy. He's going to be able to throw a two millimeter sheet of a metal in there, or whatever it might be, stainless steel, it could be titanium, and then he's going to be able to cut this for you, <clears throat> give you back the actual part. So you want to go ahead and send him the DXF file, or you could send a DWG, they can work with both of those. Now, if you want to, if you have somebody that has a plasma cutter or they have a CNC router and they need an SVG file, you can go ahead and from right here in Corel, take your DXF file, go to file, you could say export or click on export and then just change it to D, uh, SVG. 
go to desktop and hit uh, export. <clears throat> now you have a DXF file that your uh, water jet person could use and you have an SVG file for your for a person to use if they have a plasma cutter or they have a um, CNC router. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial on how to actually take your uh, Design Spark mechanical file and how to create a DXF file from your three dimensional model uh, so that you can use for water jet cutting. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully, you enjoy watching and you got something useful out of the video. Thanks again for watching.